Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20. This episode, again, we weren't able to get everyone together, so Clay and I are just going to talk, about, do a recap of the episodes from A Deal with Demons, episode 21, to episode 40. So basically, the beginning of episode 21 was that Lazarus had just finished swimming through one of the underground lakes in the first section of the depths. And they, he had just, like, barely survived a bunch of Koa Toa attacking him. So, after that, the crew ended up going further into the, into the depths, and they passed by a huge cavernous pit. Like, it was so deep, they couldn't see the bottom. But, if, if they listened carefully, they heard that there was screeching of demons and terrible screams, and screams of, like, battle, the sounds of battle, and kind of war going down, on down below there. And after a while of just hanging out there trying to determine what was going on, a demon actually ended up flying out. I can't remember what the actual demon was. Do you remember? Um, no, I can't. It scared the shit out of us because it was yeah. one of those creepy looking ones with the yeah. wings and like the beaks. Oh, was it a chul? I think it was a chul. C-H-E-U-L. No, chul are like those little crayfish looking gray things with like the Futurama Dr. Zoidberg mouth thing yeah. going on. That's a chew. Oh, okay. I forget what it was called. It was very creepy looking. Yeah. Not cool at all. Didn't want to hang out with that guy. I actually have a monster manual right here with it me. might have been from Volos. I'm not sure. I also have that here with me. Um, it was a, a demon, you said, right? I think so. It was either a demon or a devil. It was definitely a flying thing. Oh, a rock. Yeah, that is it, a rock. A rock, yes. Yeah. yeah, so that came like a bat out of hell out of that cavern and went to attack you guys, and you guys ran down Messed through... Messed us up is what it did, yeah. Yeah, you guys ran through another one of the passageways you saw nearby. Tried to set like a mini trap. Yeah. Tried to set the trap and then started like defending yourselves from it, and then you saw something else come out come out of the uh, cavern or the pit as well. Uh -huh. That was an Asimir. Asimir. So it helped you fight the uh, Varok. You guys eventually beat it, and the Asimir told you a bunch of stuff like that. A great evil was manifesting in the deep underworld, and that. It was something major, major happening, and just to prepare for the future, because it might come out. Yeah. That was creepy, because I remember we were looking over the edge, yeah. and then you made his real perception checks, and then it's just like, you think something's coming, then you see something's coming, and then now you know something's coming, yeah. and it's like getting bigger and bigger, and then it like, woof, through the thing. I got cool imagery from that. Yeah, I was... Freaking out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, because I, I think I knew what a rock was at the time because I was reading up on gifts a lot. Yeah. So demons and devils. And I was like, oh my God, we're under leveled. <laughs> and I was like, time to run. <laughs> Thankfully, Asmar showed up and yeah. helped us out of a tight one. Yeah. That was cool. And then, yeah, he told us about the, the war or going on down below. Yeah. I thought that was like the Shardana at first. I was like, yeah, we're going to solve that problem. Don't worry about it. Bro. Yeah, no, that... <laughs> It's like a huge demon devil type thing that's going on down there. Is it like the blood war in the books? Uh, we don't know. You wouldn't know, like you didn't get enough information about it. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm a, that, I'm, that's my guess, is that yeah. it's like the blood war and it's going to come and bite us in the ass or something. Oh no, blood war is Githrai and stuff. Yeah, that's right, I think. Yeah. Mess that up. It's the demon devil war in Avernus that's going on. Yeah. So this seemed more like it was a battle between demons and or devils against angels and celestials and kind of plainer good beings. Yeah. Okay. And angels. Yeah, we didn't learn much, so we don't know what's yeah. going on. That's basically all that he learned. And then he had to leave because he was like, I have to go back to war. Yeah. I'm the hero you guys need, but not the one you deserve. <laughs> and then he just ditched. Yeah. And that's when we found the house. Yeah, so there was an abandoned cabin in that small area you had ran to. Mm -hmm. I 
We uh, explored it. Yeah, you explored it a bit. I don't know if you guys actually gained any items or anything from there. No, we saw some old-fashioned shit, like pictures yeah. and stuff. It was, like, very yeah. weirdly a human house. Yeah. Yeah, so you assumed that that is uh, where some humans had went while the war was happening because they didn't want to be a part of the war against humans. Yeah, which is uh, shows how desperate they were yeah. to go to the depths. Yeah. And then, was that the area where you went and explored and found the bee here? Or was that later on? Was that after you found Alcaro? Or before? It was before we found him, because he wasn't there. Okay, yeah, so I think you found the small cabin, and then... Because we were go- That was the same time we had the Magman thing, and we had the... Uh... The Magman was with Alcaro. Was it? Yeah. Oh, well, it was definitely when we had, like, those dudes talking in Inferno, though. That was... We had that before Alcaro. Because Alcaro would have been able to hear them, and he didn't. It was just Farron who heard them. Because I know, I know the demons we did with, uh, like, talking about their wife problems. Yeah, that was that before Alcaro. Yeah, definitely. I think that yeah. was right before we found Alcaro. That was quite a bit before. It was while you were... It was still... I think it was before the lake. Oh, never mind then. I don't know. I can't quite remember. I do know that Bay here was like before Okara though. Cause yeah. like we were freaking out. Mm-hmm. Cause that was something I knew we were too under level yeah. to go against. So like, like I was like, Blaze was panicking and I was panicking. And yeah. I was like, Jesus <laughs> dude, roll a good stealth roll, man. We cannot deal with this right now. Yeah. That scared me. Cause... Yeah. So I think that happened like right out here. Cause I think you yeah. found some passageways beyond the cavern. Uh-huh. I mean, be- beyond the small cabin you guys found. And you investigated one of those and it's another deep pit, just not as big. So you climb down and you see, you saw that it was a bee here that was in that uh, pit. Yeah, it was like a little rectangular shape, kind of like pit yeah. bones and everything. And then there's like a little ca- cave opening. Yeah. And then it's like, you hear like heavy breathing and then you see like those crazy eyes yeah. and you're like freaking the fuck out climbing up the wall you're like oh shit yeah. <laughs> uh yeah so you climbed up barely with your life because that thing was pretty close to actually biting you i think no he didn't see me oh oh yeah that's right i was climbing yeah. and i hit yeah. against the wall yeah because yeah. uh if he had seen me he probably would have just climbed up after us yeah. or something i don't know but it was freaky because i was like leaning there no one knew above what was really going on yeah. so it's like just stay quiet. Yeah. <laughs> and eventually, it went back into the cave. Yeah, that's uh, learned my lesson. I'm yeah. not climbing down any <laughs> suspicious looking holes anymore. <laughs> uh, so after that, you guys couldn't find anything more in this area. So you went further and you found another big lake. And the section of the lake had a bunch of. Well, had a. I think you could walk around the full lake, or at least like a, at least half it. Mm-hmm. And you fi- you saw another cabin that seemed to be actually still in use and still in good condition. And you find you found a very old human in that cabin named Alcaro, and he was the grandson of some fighters who went underground and the war against humans had actually began. Yeah, and we talked about the cabin. I think he said that was his grandpa's house. Yeah. Or, like, great-grandparents. Yeah, well, he, he knew he was sort of related to yeah. them, so... Yeah. Yeah, that guy didn't like me. Yeah, because he tried to steal a sword, like, four or five times. And he I eventually got tired of your shit. Wasn't stealing. <laughs> was examining without permission. I liked him. I didn't really see him coming, and then yeah. he was there, and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. He, and he had like a super sweet sword that's why i wanted to examine yeah. it i was like what is this guy's de- i didn't trust him i thought he was gonna try and kill us in our sleep yeah uh his sword was i think demon's bane demon's bane like a demon slaying sword yeah. yeah i thought duncan was gonna take that mm-hmm. I really did and because of demon's bane uh, the majority of the creatures in the depths were actually scared of him mm-hmm. so that's how he kind of survived for so long reputation and so you guys convinced him to come with you to uh, find the prison camp where the Shardana were keeping a bunch of humans. Mm-hmm. So before you could get there, though, you had to go through a deep gnome village. 
and they weren't actually the deep gnomes didn't actually really care about you guys they're kind of attack. like rude yeah mostly because they didn't want us to be there at all yeah we tried to do some trading and it didn't really work out and then classic group thing when you tried to barter which yeah, has made it worse yeah you gave us the old dm punishment of like uh nope fuck you see you yeah. later <laughs> Sometimes people just don't want to barter. Yeah. And while there you saw a few inns, a couple shrines dedicated to Garl Glittergold, which is the gnome god of trickery and wiles. Saw a few stores, which you went to, and stuff like that. Then from there, you guys went through another passageway that had a huge blanket of fog covering the entire thing. And Fairney is <laughs> guess of when to get rid of it. That's right. That was funny. I laughed. Like, yeah. uh, Fer- uh, Farron was like, nah, no, nah, we don't need to do this. Yeah. So what that fog was is it would bring forth nightmares of the group's worst fears. So they would hallucinate the nightmares and gain other, they might gain other temporary flaws and stuff like that. Okay. And like, they would, it would be like the worst nightmares. So after that, you guys uh, went along the path and you found... Uh, a small encampment of Magmen. This is where you saw the Magmen. Right. I tried to talk to them. Yeah. Didn't work out. Yeah. I know better. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk to the Magmen, damn it. But uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, that fight went pretty quick, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember much of that fight. I, don't, I was very not involved with that fight. Mm-hmm. I think I had like two things I got done. And yeah. then it was like, it was over. Well, there were eight Megmen and uh, Nothic as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothics, I love Nothics. Yeah, it was so a cool. super easy fight for you guys. Like, you had no problem. There's so many of us, them. so. Yeah. Then after that, you guys found that the next passageway led to a prison camp. And ever you saw people li- in lines with, or lines of people chained together, pick axi- using pickaxes. On rocks or digging holes, moving explosives, moving rocks, boulders, dead bodies, yeah. and stuff like that. And it seemed like they were mining or like digging deeper and deeper and deeper. And all of them like looked exhausted and malnourished. And in this room, like keeping supervising them, there were eight spine devils, I think, and two Shardana, as well as a bunch of quite a few uh what's the thing that bit you again oh rudderkin yeah a few rudderkin as well yeah vietnam flashback <laughs> <laughs> and there was a barlagura at the very bottom kind of keeping things work going on by scaring people fucking giant orange monkey demon <laughs> yeah you know what? i don't think there were any spine devils i think that's what i ch- i changed that to just rudderkin because I think spine levels were a bit too high leveled. For the, that if there point. were eight of them, yeah. Oh yeah, eight would have yeah. been fucked. But would have preferred just dying, supposed to being turned into a yeah <laughs> creepy creature, <laughs> the mouth hand, which I will miss the mouth hand. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss that voice. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I wanna die. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be human. Uh, uh, to back again. This is when we made friends with the <laughs> shard entity through Trump person. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, what is his name? Uh, something stupid. Just as such. Was a it name. Jonathan? Yeah, Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan a generic name for a Shardana. Yeah, you guys convinced him to get a bunch of dynamite and to uh, s- do suicide while killing a bunch of other Shardana and stuff like that. Yeah, we had him suicide bomb his own camp. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Jonathan. He yeah. deserved better than that. Uh, so, in this area, you killed the majority of the Rudderkin. Killed the Barlgura. Well, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Killed a bunch of the Shardana. Then you went and freed the majority, like, everyone in the in that area from their chains. Yeah, and we used that stone Jonathan got for us, too. Stone. Uh, the teleportation stone. Oh, yeah, 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 so he gave you a teleportation stone that get you out of the depths. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jonathan was like, yeah, I'll go get that for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking God. <laughs> Goddamn, uh, Farron and his charm person. Yeah. 
But that, it gets in the way. That gets you out of every single thing. Yeah. Fuck. No, 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 not for long. Yeah. His magic has consequences, damn it. Yep. <laughs> the, when will you learn <laughs> that your actions have consequences? Uh, so then once you freed them, you went down to the main level where the Dagon was the deepest and where the Barl Gura was. This is when Duncan had his sweet fucking oh, yeah. leap off a ladder, yeah, sledgehammer, so axe attack. Was that against a Shardana or one of the Rudderkin? I believe that was a Shardana. Okay, yeah, so uh, one of the Shardana was on a ladder uh, trying to climb up to them. Mm. And then Duncan went down the ladder, just booed him down. And then jumped down on him and stabbed him or something like that. I think he hit him, jumped off of him while they're in air and like slashed him. Uh, oh. So ha- slashed him or someone else is yeah. in the ground. Yeah. yeah. Basically just like took advantage of the the environment to like damage two different people at once. Yeah. Which was pretty sick. And then we fell into that cesspool of <laughs> Rudderkin <laughs> and a giant Balgara who yeah. luckily did not notice us for quite a while. Yeah, so the Barl Gura was just too happy with what he was doing, like torturing people and scaring everyone and stuff like that. Did you notice you guys? <laughs> Be scared of the humans. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're just slaying our way over towards yeah. him. And then you guys made your way towards him, freed a lot more prisoners, and then Farron used gusts of wind on the prisoners who were all in a line to get out through the teleportation stone. Yeah, corpses and everything. Yeah, and that blew the majority of them into the Barlgura, damaging the Barlgura through bludgeoning damage, yeah. and that killed it. Or knocked it unconscious and then it did enough like, damage, yeah. Yeah. Like then, a the like a world's machine gun of humans or something. Yeah. Uh, that's so fucked up. I yeah. remember we were all <laughs> dying laughing. But thinking back, it's like this is terrible. How did yeah. we not know he was evil then, right? Yeah, I think Farron killed like fifteen people th- doing that. Oh my god. If not 20. But that killed the Barlgura, and you guys were pretty much good. You saw a few Shardana up above who were uh, sending arrows at you guys, but most of them missed. And then you guys went through the teleportation circle, and Alcaro went back to his home. Yeah, I honestly thought he was going to give the sword to Ryan. Yeah. Did you think he was going to do that? Uh, There was a chance that he might have. Yeah, it so, was up to Ryan, though. Pretty much, yeah. I can't believe he didn't take it. What a wuss. But also, Alcaro would have, it was probably, he probably needed it to survive the next few years. Yeah, that's why Ryan left it, I think. Yeah. Should have taken it. Could have used the demon slaying sword, considering yeah. our main quest takes place in the depths, but yeah. oh well. I'm sure we'll bump in the old man again. There's also the chance that Alcaro would have gone with you. If, oh, really? Yeah, if you guys had convinced him enough to. <laughs> I think I convinced him not to. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's also when I had my uh, bite and everything, so I was kind of a mess. Oh, right. No, I wasn't even, like, talking. Oh, him, yeah, was, yeah, you couldn't talk at that point. I transformed into a uh, abyssal wretch immediately. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I remember having a panic attack, running, getting, like, knocked out. And I think I was stuck in that gust of wind, too. Yeah. And I got blown into the portal, and I tried to run away. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I was just going to flee. I was just going to run away. Yeah. And then I got knocked out by more bodies flying around. Yeah. And then everyone went through the portal, and eventually you found someone who could help you communicate again. Uh, it was one of the prisoners. Like and an she, elf lady. Yeah, it was yeah. an elf lady who had some... Sp- I'm not sure if it was a spell or if it was some medicine she somehow had. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But she was able to make it so you could sl- communicate again. Which would have been it's very helpful, because otherwise it would have just been me going, Rah! Yeah. Rah! Which, <laughs> which, wouldn't, like, which wouldn't be good for, like, 20 episodes. Yeah, at some point, you'd have to, like, I don't know, kill me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it would have been, it would have sucked for me, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I don't yeah. know what I would have done. So, good thing that up lady was there conveniently. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you found out, I think, that all of these prisoners were from the islands on the eastern coast of Taltania. Right, because that's some of the people were like on boats and stuff going yeah, and, missing, and... and none of them were from Avranches. Yeah, which pissed us off because we realized yeah. we just messed up. <laughs> yeah. Well, you still saved like thousands of people. Yeah, not the people we cared about, though. Yeah. 
<laughs> and that's when we found that other Shardana village or camp encampment yeah. and uh, went off <laughs> on that camp. Yeah. So you guys found that uh, about a kilom- a couple of kilometers away, you saw an encampment that seemed like it was of the Shardana because you saw the Shardana flag. Mm-hmm. And you end up getting a group from the prisoners to come with you to pretty much just kill everyone when everyone was asleep. Yeah, which went really well. Yeah. I rolled two nat 20s. So did Zach. Yeah. That was fucking insane. It was, sorry, it was going really well. And then yeah. Farron, <laughs> for some goddamn reason, felt like throwing a fireball at a camp. Yeah. Uh, so we had like a mini skirmish. Which ended pretty quickly, because mm-hmm. by the time that happened, we had killed most of them. Yeah. So that was sick. Yeah, that was pretty dark. <laughs> yeah, it was very it. dark. Uh, after that, we went to... What happened to the prisoners? We sent them to... Oh, yeah, we sent them to Summersdale. No, we no, sent them to Avranches, because it was empty and the king was there. Well, to I, uh, I, I think you guys said either Avranches or Siltsby. I think we said you should probably go to Avranches because you'll be safer there. Yeah. Because it hasn't been hit yet. Yeah. That was our lo- logic was like, if you go to Stillsby, you're just waiting for another Shardanic attack. Yeah. Meanwhile, they don't know. If, if you go to Avranches, they think it's already gone. So. Yeah. So we sent them there and then we made our way to Chun. Was it Chun? No, not Chun. Sorry. Um, I- no, it wasn't No, I- uh, yeah, it was Chun. No. No, it's not Chun. Hurea. Yeah, Hurea. Yeah. Hurea. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it was right across, just up the hills away. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's how we got all our money. Yeah. Because <laughs> we saved these people without even knowing and then took the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a dark episode, yeah. murdering, like, 30 Shardanas or whatever it was. In the night without them being able to do anything about it. Yeah. And then... And I think you found a map in one of their places, or maybe a prisoner told you that... I think they told you that there were, like, four other encampments or prison uh, prison camps. In the depths? I think it was yeah. one of the prisoners, yeah. Yeah. Who had heard some stuff. Yeah. I can't quite remember. I know there was a number of Shardana camps that we yeah. have to go back to to defeat in the depths. Just either four altogether or five altogether. So, either way, we're going to crush it. Uh, four all together, I think. Four all together? I think so. All right. Well, I can't wait <laughs> to go back to the hellscape that is the yeah. depths. I'm gonna have so many flashbacks and, like, freak out sessions. It's gonna be great. Can't wait. Yeah. And the only enemy there will be Roderkin. <laughs> Grace's <Grace's laughs> own personal hell. <laughs> Oh my god, no, please don't make that true. <laughs> I'll fight anything else, man. Anything. I'm gonna put on, like, a rubber suit so you can't bite me. Yeah, a leather suit so you can't bite me or something. The one time Blaze wears armor. Yeah. But so, it, after that, you guys did go to Ait. Hurea. Or Hurea, yeah, Hurea. And you told about what happened, about where the Shardana were, that all of them are dead. And there ended up being a big feast for you guys. Yeah, we got some gold and a yeah. feast. Yeah. Which was sullied by Blaze's depression mm-hmm. and just our general douchebagginess as a party. <laughs> <laughs> where it was like we just got super drunk and ate all the food and oh, didn't yeah. really care. Yeah. And that's when we met uh, Z-Man. Yeah. Z-Man Zerthos. Yeah. Yeah, the bard boy. Yeah, so creepy you, bard guy. Yeah, you guys realized that all of Zarathos' songs seemed to coincide with everything you guys had been through so far. Yeah. Like, there was one about the sea taking the town, or in the quiet city, and stuff like that. That 100% coincided with your like an past un- few weeks. Uncanny resemblance. Yeah. It was not okay with us. <laughs> So you guys chatted with him about it. He ended up coming with you guys to where you guys were headed next. Yeah, he told us about his creepy vision with, like, the yeah. demon he made. It. Sorry, he doesn't know it's a demon. It's a demon. We all know it's a it, demon. It's not a demon. It's totally a demon. It's not a it's demon. demon. No. Totally a demon. No. It is. No. I know it is. <laughs> There's a big surprise about the master. 
Oh, right. Who he made a deal with. The master. Oh, that's not true. I didn't say it was a demon. I guessed... Yeah, that's right, because um, during the whole thing, I guessed uh, Blaze thinks Farron made the same deal with the, the master. That's what he thinks. Oh, okay. He doesn't yeah. know because Farron won't talk about it, but that's what yeah. Blaze is thinking. Is like, yeah, it's the man. The, there's a connection. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was very mysterious and kind of creepy, mm-hmm. and I don't know. I, it was uncomfortable how he sang about us and didn't yeah. even know. It's like... Mini, he's like a prophet. He's like a prophet, basically. Kind of like he sings about the things almost exactly as they happen, or yeah. he learns of those lyrics and music exactly as it happens, pretty much. Yeah, he's like seeing or hearing what's happening to us. Yeah. Which is uh, cr- not cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not cool. <laughs> Wonder why it's us, but uh, yeah. find out, I guess. Eventually, I do want to actually write the music. For the songs he's wrote. And yeah. like release it on the same channel. That'd be cool. I think uh, it's interesting. Yeah, uh, it, It's got a good premise all the songs. Like yeah. the sea taking land. Would be a very somber one I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Or uh, and then the another empty one city. Was, hmm? The empty city. The empty city. Yeah that would, that's, that would be a, a depressing yeah. one. Right. <laughs> uh, what, what other ones did he sing? Uh, sea taking the, land, the city. The empty c- city yeah i've got to look that up right now i've got it right here uh the empty city was the first one then the sea took the town then the new city which is like about uh the rebellion and still right 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 which we had <laughs> no business with yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh then the reach of darkness which is about the depths freedom yeah. Which is about you guys freeing the prisoners. Mm-hmm. And then A City Swept Away, which is about, I think, about Shun being taken. Yeah, because um, Arendelle knew he was in Shun. Yeah. He's been in Shun. Or, no, it was uh, for Ma being taken. Because Ma took a really long time That's to what... actually get taken. Yeah. We go to Ma. Yeah. yeah. So we were supposed to go to Ma, but then neutral party. Yeah. <laughs> Don't feel like it quite yet. It can wait. Yeah, exactly. I feel bad for Aylan, though. <laughs> Basically getting dragged around. Yeah, like nothing. He's not able to go to anywhere he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so also while you were in uh, Haria, you learned of two kind of mysterious lakes. One was a lake that there were rumors of an underground city or under i mean underwater city or underwater town which was to the west of where you guys were at and you guys also learned of a lake that had some mysterious monster that uh has been killing people for years upon years so you guys end up going towards that lake yeah because lazarus and i were very yeah. excited to fight the monster yeah, so uh, after the party, you guys end up uh, going to sleep in your hotel, and that night, Farron disappeared. Fucking. And you guys had no idea where he went, you weren't able to find really anything about it besides that there seemed to be some magic occurring. Yeah, just like teleportation magic yeah, or something. Some dark teleportation magic. Yeah, yeah. like different from the shard down it. Yeah. He just bounced. Yeah. It's okay, he made it back. <laughs> Yeah, so then after that, you guys decide to go to the lake with the monster in it. And on your way there, you found, you ran into a, Mr. a man with a cart. And Mr. he was Mr. Mithers. My name is... No, Mr. Mythics. Should have given him a list. My name is Mr. Mythers <laughs> of uh, Mythical yeah. uh, Mythics. Uh, how may I be of service? <laughs> Maybe I'll do that for Mr. Misters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His brother's a dick and he has a list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they call me Mr. Mystics. <laughs> uh, so you guys were able to buy some magic items from him? My snake can. Yeah, you bought the can of snakes. Or, uh, uh, the it was the... Brittle can or uh, something. Balumuth's can of peanut, peanut brittle. Yeah, which was yeah. summoned like a bunch of snakes. Yeah, it summons one d six flying snakes. Yeah. Oh, was it flying? I thought it was poison yeah. no, snakes. Flying. Oh, even better. I love yeah. that. I got that. Um, Elendo got the teleportation dagger. Yeah. The yeah. no, not teleportation dagger. What is it? The distance dagger? No. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll check what I actually called it. Um, Cause it let him teleport to the dagger for up to like 50 feet. Yeah. Uh, where did I put that stuff? Um, it's probably, oh yeah, magic items here. Uh, so yeah, he bought, okay, wait, no, this is the wrong thing, wrong page. Uh, I'll find it right now. Um, gonna cut a lot of the silence out. Why? It makes it more fun. (laughs) Nothing beats awkward silences. Except for more awkward silences. Oh yeah, I found it, okay. Yeah, so, uh, you got Zalamoth's homemade peanut brittle, as well you got the Tomb of Pseudo-Magic. Oh yeah, did I take that too, I think? Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah, that gives me... Yeah, once per day it can be used to create a fake publication to back up the user's claims, and it's a DC-18 to see through it. That's gonna come in handy. Yeah. We haven't had a chance yet, we haven't really been in, like, high society to need a document. Well, you are now in IH. True. Except I don't need it because the Wizard's Apprentice did give us permission. Yeah. So, whatever. <laughs> uh, it'll come in handy. I'll use it. Yeah. Same with the Monocle Lewinsky and all yeah. that stuff. It'll find its... it's uh, Every D&D item has like those little uses that you don't think of until yeah. the time comes up. And you're like, oh yeah, I mm-hmm. should definitely use this. Except for those marbles. Except that one time during the Rebellion when Faron oh, yeah. accidentally... Yeah, I forgot about that marble. Yeah. He had uh, the dragon marble. Yeah. That was messed up. Poor guy. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Tony got the destination dagger from That's Mr. Mithers. Uh, Duncan got the immovable rod. And I don't think Zach got anything, actually. No, he was saving his money, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what he got from him. Uh, I think you guys may have sold something to him. I'm not sure. Uh. Yeah, uh, someone sold the Good Dream nightcap to him. I think Duncan did. No, that was me. You did? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I didn't need oh, it, yeah. and I needed yeah. money to pay for both. Yeah. Yeah, I had the Good Dream nightcap, but I didn't need it, so I was yeah. like, fuck it, I'll throw it away. I'm not going to have nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Yeah, you'll have nightmares of, all, of turning into a Roger Kid again. I mean, sad. a Bissell Wretch. Sad, sad story, man. Yeah, no, we ran into that rando dude. Yeah. <laughs> Told us to steal from his brother. Yeah. Put him uh, out of business, essentially. Yeah, you learned that Mr. Mister had stolen a... Bu- well, that... I think I told you that Mr. Mither and Mr. Mister had a company together, and they were selling go- yeah. magical goods. And then eventually Mr. Mister stole a bunch of the magic and mystical, mythical items from Mr. Mithers. And uh, he started his own company but mr mithers was unhappy about that so he took whatever he had left and created the company mr mithers mythical mystics so now he wants you guys to go after mr mister's mystical mythics in order to get those mystical and mythical items from mr mister to bring them back to mr mithers so that mr mither can create more of a inventory for mr mithers mythical mystics so that he can sell more and more uh, mystics and mythical magic mystics. You went out of your way to complicate that. <laughs> I did. It was amazing. <laughs> I was like a ping pong table going back and forth. <laughs> Basically, they're twin brothers fighting for uh, monopolization <laughs> of their <Pretty> trade. <laughs> they both want to play Monopoly really bad you know, without the other one. Except that Mr. Misters actually stole from Mr. Mithers. Yeah, so we have to go... Uh, not kill, making air quotes here. Yeah. Not kill Mr. Misters. Whatever. Knowing us, something will happen and everything will go completely south. Or we'll just yeah. betray Mr. Mithers and kill him instead. Yeah. I mean, steal from him instead. We'll find out. We haven't hit, we're into that guy yet. Maybe we'll see him. Yeah. On the way to the wizard. But uh, after that, we went to the lake, right? Yeah. And uh, you guys end up. Finding a water element, an elemental that he lured to one of the islands there. Mm-hmm. Killed it. Ooh, I got to go off yeah. on him. Yeah. That's when I finally figured out my monk stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on episode 38-ish. Yeah. 38-ish, yeah. We had to leave Lovecraft behind. Yeah. 
Because he him on got a boat. knocked unconscious. He got knocked unconscious, and it would have been just bad bringing him on a yeah, boat anyway. Exactly. My poor. I thought you were gonna kill my wolf. <laughs> I was so scared. I try not to kill like the pets. Yeah, it's a good guy. Good code to go by. And I said it'll create a huge, a really good reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, now I'm worried. Yeah, you'll kill kids and pets. Doesn't matter. Uh, no, we killed the water elemental, and then the dinosaur just stared at us. Kind of creepy. Like, yeah, till and we got you closer. approach it and then battled it. You you fucking went to town on it. Yeah, throwing my darts and everything. Yeah, that was fun. I like that battle. It was cool having to go to distance and then have it slowly come up to us. Yeah, and then fighting on the shore. I felt bad for Zach. <laughs> All his attacks missed. I oh, think. yeah, that's right. He was strange. having terrible yeah. luck with his range attacks. Yeah. I actually feel bad for Duncan, because during that fight, he was, like, frozen. Because the... Yeah, both Zack and him were frozen. Oh, yeah. Because you oh, guys yeah, yeah, had... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went onto the island, and... You got... And there was, like, this huge mind attack on you guys, and it paralyzed... Uh, both Duncan, or Ryan, and Lazarus. Yeah, yeah, that freaked us out. We were like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then that's when we were finding all the bodies with, like, the holes in the back of their heads. Yeah. I knew instantly. Yeah. I had an inkling. <laughs> <laughs> and it took you guys a little while to find out that there was an actual cavern underneath the island. Mm-hmm. So you swam through the water to get at that and found a, a Mind Flayer's lair. That was a cool, cool lair. I like that, yeah. like, the panoramic view of, like, underwater. Yeah. Uh, and, like, uh, all the brains up hanging in, the, like, the shelves. And he's just chilling. Like, yeah. <laughs> nice little bed and everything. It was super, that was cool. Uh, no questions asked at all. I think Zach went in first. He's like, oh, yeah, I hit him. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, yeah. we're going right for it. <laughs> That was a good fight, though. That went really well for us. Yeah, you guys annihilated him in, like, just a couple of rounds. Yeah, I guess when he's on his own, it's different. And we were level four, five level at that five, point. Yeah. yeah, we were level five at that point. And, uh, yeah, so, like, with our numbers, it was pretty simple. Yeah. So we took care of him. And then a weird night. <laughs> yeah, you guys kind of stayed in there for way too long. <laughs> And yeah, it was like, getting to the point where none of us knew what to do. Yeah. We were like, should we just exit the building? And then, nope, we went fishing. Zach went fishing. Had a hardcore snuggle puddle. Yeah. <laughs> and then started a fire <laughs> for no, for some reason. Yeah. That, that was annoying. It filled yeah. with smoke. What are you doing? Uh, the fish isn't done yet. <laughs> go, up, go up top. I don't know. This was, uh, this was an awkward and weird yeah. interaction. <laughs> and you guys did find out that the, there was a stone or emerald, I think, in the center of the room that was keeping the water out in like a... Spherical. 30-foot radius sphere or something. Yeah, it was an abjuration magic. Yeah. So you guys took that and then uh, Ryan... Elendal and Zarathos end up using that stone to go to the very bottom of the lake and decide to just walk from the walk to the bottom of the lake to try to find treasure and stuff like that. And then you and Lazarus ended up going just uh rowing to the back of the shore. Yeah, we grabbed Lovecraft and went back to shore. Yeah. And then they got my darts. Yeah. Yay. Good, I didn't want to buy more darts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was lucky that they got that. They also found a cool pirate hat. They found multiple hats. Or yeah. two hats, I think. Two hats. And didn't give me any of them. <laughs> one was the stereotypical pirate hat, I think. And the other was the, like, a navy hat, I think. Yeah, yeah, because they were finding a bunch of corpses. <laughs> yeah. And from they, old ships. They found a crystal skull as well. Did they? Oh, yeah. They or brought a sapphire it up. skull. Yeah, they brought it up and everything. Yeah. Wasn't it magical? Yeah, so it has, like, the Dancing Lights cantrip mm. in it. So if you just uh, boop its snoot, then it starts, the lights start just flashing like a disco ball. Yeah, and they use it to play a prank on me. Yeah. Jerks. Uh, and then they, after going through a few pirate trips, I mean, a few ships that are wrecked on the, on the bottom of the sea, they made it back to land, and you guys... And uh, making your way to Ait, I think, right? 
Yeah, we decided we were going to go to Ait. Yeah. Because we didn't know where else to go. Yeah, because you knew that there was a powerful wizard near there, and... We also thought we might hit Mr. Misters on the way. Yeah. I don't know. We didn't really know where to go, and so we decided, like, well, Ait's a big name, and we're not that far, so we also just go to Ait. Because we hope to hit Mr. Misters, um, figured, even if we don't know the wizard's there, if he's not there, sorry, we can talk to somebody. Yeah. Um, and then also, uh, what else was it? Oh, yeah, we were hoping Farron was there. Yeah, because that's where you are thinking of going before. Mm-hmm. We told him if any if we are going to meet anywhere, it would be Ait. So. Yeah. So that's why we headed there. And then that's when we got sidetracked with the cave. Yeah, so... While you guys were at Lake, Farron ended up being transported mm-hmm. to the top of to almost the top of the mountain, and he slowly lose consciousness as he saw a lot of uh, chained up and kind of imprisoned looking people all around him. And then when he woke up, all of them like uh, all he saw was ash and like burnt stuff in that area. And he heard the wings of a dragon, like, flying away. And felt, like, his skin burning as if, like, uh, dragon scales were on it. But they failed. Yeah. Then he ended up uh, climbing down the mountain, found a a cave. Invested the cave. That I had, that Blaze had explored a long time ago. Yeah, so a long time ago, Blaze, during his mug train, had... Gone to the mountains with probably a couple of his other uh, acquaintances, acquaintances or colleagues, like fellow students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had probably you had been to the mount those mountains before, some other mountains, and had just been uh, training there really. And then I found that cave, and yeah. like with my scholar background, it was I wanted to explore, and then it collapsed. Yeah, and then now Farron was there. I thought that was cool, like a little mini connection between us mm-hmm. that we haven't really put together quite yet, but it, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, cool cave. Frustrating cave. Yeah. I was legit kind of mad at the end of that <laughs> session because I learned <laughs> fuck all about that cave. Yeah. I was so frustrated. I was like, I want to know something. Well, oh, this, there's more questions than yeah. questions. Yeah. In time. There, In time. Like, that's... I'm going to... I'm not going to spoil anything but no don't don't spoil yeah okay, it's a yeah. surprise you, yeah. you keep it tight-lipped i just yeah. just know that you you've succeeded all right there's all right. something in the future that'll help with that and be yeah. related yeah. just know that you're successful you, you, you i i'm intrigued okay yeah. you've caught my attention <laughs> i want to know the answer to your little riddle yeah so you guys found that cave which had cape super super old cave paintings of mm-hmm. The seeming like goddess lady fighting waves upon waves of demons or devils. Mm -hmm. And then you found like kind of like an altar room. With like a bowl. With a bowl in the center of it that was held up by nine coins. Or nine coins? Seven? Nine coins. It was nine. It was nine. Because then there were also nine deities in the other room. Yeah. In a circle with like water flowing and stuff. Yeah. with There was a fountain in the center of the other room with the... That same goddess in the very center. And sure. water started to flow once Farron did some stuff. Farron also got a teleportation stone from that statue after he made the water start flowing. And you guys had never heard or have never known of any of these gods before. The only thing you did know about was that Hephaestus most likely created all of the weapons or items that they held. Yeah, it's some sort of connection. Yeah. I almost got left at that cave because I remember yeah. the group had an argument and Blaze ditched. Yeah. He said, I'm going to the fucking cave. Uh, you see and you later. Zarathos. Me and I took the bard with me. Yeah. And then they left. And that's when they, like, I almost, oh, I, I was exploring. I was up there, like, in game. I was up there, like, hours. Yeah. <laughs> taking notes, drawing, everything. Mm-hmm. I wanted to desperately figure it out because I speak celestial, but it's too old celestial. Yeah. Uh, so I couldn't read it. And then that's when they bumped into Farron, and I was, like, sitting at my part of the table going, like, please just mention Hephaestus. Yeah. Please just mention <laughs> Hephaestus, because then I know Ryan will go, and at least I'll have a, a, a walk, a ride back home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so after Farron had left the cave, he ran into a a firbolg named Phasmir. Yeah. And they kind of traveled together for the next day or two, just chatted a little bit, made awkward conversation. (laughs) That was so weird. Yeah. Oh, man, we're still getting comfortable role-playing. Yeah. I can tell. We're not all totally in on board. Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes it's like, yeah, let's do it. And other times we're like, uh, what yeah. do we say? Yeah, it depends on the day. <laughs> it depends on the day yeah. and the characters we're with. And I don't know, it was awkward for, for Farron yeah. and Fasimir. So you're a druid. Yeah. <laughs> can you... Do you fuck animals? <laughs> it was like, okay. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> So they travel. They traveled together until they were almost tight. Because they wanted to fight the dragon. Yeah. Yeah, Farron. I mean, uh, Fasmir asked Farron to come fight a dragon that killed Fasmir's village with him, and he agreed. So they started traveling, and then they heard wagons coming from behind them, and they found and they noticed that it was Ryan, Lazarus, and Elendil coming up behind them. And they all kind of had a homecoming or like uh, regrouping. Yeah, the, brought the band back together. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, Farron told Ryan about the cave and about Havesis after a seemingly long period. It took <laughs> like forever a- for him to mention the one thing that Ryan needed to hear, which is Hephaestus. Yeah, and that's what brought us all back to Ghetto yeah. again. Yeah, so they used the teleportation zone and got back into that cave and scared you. Yeah, it scared the shit out of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was like, okay, <laughs> here we go. Yeah. And that's when you put us on that, like, multi-path fork in the road yeah. of what to do. So at that point, there were, like, five different places you could go to because of your own characters. So you could go to the depths, which Fasmir told you were nearby. You could go to Ait to try to fix uh, Blaze to get him back to being a tabaxi. You could go to Chun, which is where, well, Chun or Eol, which was where Artemis and the Shredana were going next, or were at. Uh, you could go to... Uh, you could go fight the dragon with Phasmir. And... Also, the Hephaestus thing. Oh yeah, you could go to uh, one of the churches dedicated to Hephaestus. Yeah, that um, uh, Ryan sensed. Yeah. Like, he knew we had to go that way to get to this place. Yeah. To, I don't know, I'm assuming meet Hephaestus or something. I don't know. We don't know. We didn't go. Yeah. I laid down some cold, hard logic <laughs> and slight desperation. <laughs> May have cried. <laughs> Classic Blaze wanted to get his way. Yeah. But I don't know. I think going to Ite was the right move anyway. So. Yeah. So you guys end up traveling again without your cart to Ite because you left the horse and cart behind. Because they took the teleportation stone. Yeah. And didn't really think to grab the horse. Yeah. <laughs> so. And I think that's where we left off on episode 40. Because I, I think episode 41 and 42 were in Eight. Right, because we made our way back down yeah. from the cave. And that's where we ended it. Because in the beginning of 41, it's when the horses yeah. and like the blood and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was a good one. It was it was cool mm-hmm. where it was like a, a brief moment where like we had no idea what to do. Yeah. And it was like it was fun, like legit arguing with each other yeah. <laughs> about what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do next. I know we're kind of fixated on the the wizard, and then chronologically ordered, we're probably gonna do the dragon, which I want to do. I don't want to fight the dragon, please, Gage. Uh, but yeah, the dragon, and then I don't know. We'll see. I yeah. don't think we're gonna go to Artemis personally. Mm-hmm. I think that's a suicide mission at the moment. Yeah. As much as I don't want him to take the rest of the towns, it's like a kind of like a, we'll jump in there and repeat of Evranches. Mm-hmm. Like we get our asses handed to us. Who like, knows? You guys do have the marble. So technically you could, you could kill him. Congratulations. But... We now have yeah. a 15% chance. 
<laughs> I don't know. It, it it's. I don't. Well, it's 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 a crossroad. Yeah, like even now, you guys still haven't saved the people from Avranches, and you know the summer sale people would be captured and prisoners somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. We have to go back to the depths and find yeah. them all and rescue them from their camps. Yeah, which will be cool. It'll be like I get serious <laughs> Far Cry vibes <laughs> once we get to the depths. It's like taking over outposts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be fun. It'll, it'll be a lot of combat, a lot of like sneaking in, mm-hmm. making plans, Machiavellian scheming. <laughs> yeah, there's some stuff like in the next depths that I hope you guys will go to that I'm super excited about. Like there's some stuff that. I know you will really like, Ryan will really love, uh, Lazarus will like some of the really, some of the battles there, because that's uh, one of the major things he's into. Yeah, he's a monster hunter. Yeah. In general. Let's, uh, yeah, Zach pick monster slayer, or monster hunter or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's, he, he I, that, that's his main thing, Lazarus, is he's like a, a beast slayer. You know, he's going around, he's hunting down monsters, taking, taking, kicking ass, taking gold. <laughs> That's his lifestyle. <laughs> and I'm sure Aylandell will be very happy to go back to the depths. At least he'll feel closer towards his goal. Yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Aylandell wasn't, well. Please. No, he was with you when uh, the king of Avranches asked you guys to save the yeah. Avranches. Please, you guys. I'm running out of time. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's only been like a month. So far. Yeah, I know. He's like, I only have so many days. <laughs> Literally a ticking time bomb here, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited about where, like all the stuff you guys will have st- will still do in the future. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready to get back to it. Yeah. Yeah, I hope we can record soon again with everyone. Yeah, but they're all bums. <laughs> they're all booby boobs. I think this is where we leave off for this recap, because I don't think there's much else we can say. No, not much. The The rest of the story is about to unfold. Yeah. <laughs> and we are recording this after only, um, after episode 42, so we, we haven't done any more since then. That's why we're kind of leaving off here and not talking about anything else yeah i still don't know what's gonna happen yeah hopefully one of us dies that'd be exciting <laughs> i'm excited to see if aileron Al- ever dies because that means I'll- he'll have to roll a whole new character sheet for his actual ab- abilities and stuff since he'll be in a different body oh yeah that's Maybe one thing I was next episode about i'll just kill aileron <laughs> <laughs> mix it up all right uh yeah so thanks for listening and see you next time see you